Hello everybody, this is Edward, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I hope everyone is having an absolutely wonderful day, and if not, let's make it a wonderful day. Let's start off today by taking a nice, slow, deep breath while I just sort out this stuff here. And remember to breathe out as well. I was always told, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, but I never understood why exactly. And it wasn't until much later that I discovered that it was to help release the tension in one's jaw. And I must admit, I hold a lot of tension in my jaw, and so when I breathe out of my mouth, it helps relax my jaw. And by the sounds of it, we've got a new villager hiding in this villager. Come on, come out. So there's a cat and a pig, and uh, they made a wolf villager. I'm not too sure how that happens, but they say truth is stranger than fiction. So we're just going to grab some of these... Uh, these beetroots here. Not that I really know what to do with them. In fact, I've got quite a little bit of food right here. Potatoes, some apples as well. But I've got a feeling I should be putting this in our food box. I'll leave the egg there though. Here we go. I might grab some carrots. So. It is very, very wet in Sydney right now. We've had a lot of rain this past week. And I think we're going to be getting a lot more rain coming. And it's just one of those things. We've got a bit of flooding happening around New South Wales, but hopefully the rain won't last forever. I was going to move some sandstone, but I think I might just leave it there until I get some more space in here. But what I wanted to do today was some mining. So I'm going to make myself a couple of picks. Three should do. And as you, as it, as I, uh, the first thing I did was put away a couple of stacks. Or I think it was one and a bit stacks of uh, wood that I collected. Just for a project, I want to build a house with the stables underneath so my house, so my horse can have a house. Okay, we're just going to go down into our little mining area. I've never seen, oh, better not look at him, an enderman in this texture pack before and he seems to be, has one eye covered in some type of metal eye patch it seems. So despite all the rain yesterday I went out, I went into the city and one of my favourite things to do is to go thrift shopping. Or as we call it in Australia, go to Vinnie's or the Salvos, because they're the two biggest, uh, I, guess, I don't know what to call it, second-hand goods sellers, thrift store, really. Where people donate things to charity and then they sell it and then they use that money for good. And so I visited a store yesterday and I came across two very old PlayStation 1 games, one called V-Rally, 97 uh, Championship Edition, and the other one is a Honda Superbike Racing game, both of them with their manuals and their original uh, cases, and as well as the CDs of course. Now, just I can hear a zombie somewhere, so I'm just going to go for a little dig while see if I can find another tunnel that might be somewhere around here. I can hear two zombies actually, but yes, it's quite rare to find PlayStation One games. So when I found these, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get them. And I'm not much for racing games. I never really played racing games all that often. I, mean, I did play Need for Speed. I must admit, oh, when I was a kid. And that must have been Need for Speed too, I think. But, well, here we go. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a zombie up there. There we go. Taking care of that zombie, but I think it's just... 
I can hear a second one, but I don't know where the second one is. And I know it's a part of the cave I've been... Ah, okay. I <laughs> just did a little circle there. That's okay. Just a happy little accident. Now, let's see if I can find a new place that I can do some mining. I can hear a baby zombie too, so that's got me a little bit worried. But I shouldn't be worried. After all, it's just a fun game we're playing here. Hmm, I think there is this place. Yes, down here might be worth having a look. Got to be very careful though. I don't want to accidentally fall down and be surrounded by some nasty mobs. Okay, looks like it's safe. So yes, I love thrift shopping. Thrift, yeah, thrift shopping is a lot of fun. Uh, you never know what crazy little treasure you're gonna find, and uh, I have a whole heap of knickknacks that I've bought over the uh, over the years, and clothes that I like. A lot of the, a lot of the clothing I buy is from uh, usually secondhand. Um, I never used to wear jeans when I was younger. I used to I always used to wear cargo pants, as uh, I guess it was okay to wear them when I was younger, but I don't really want to wear them as an adult. But my first pair of jeans that I ever bought was, uh, oh, I need some railing, I might grab that, it was um, from a second-hand store, and I never used to wear denim, uh, or, yeah, never wore denim, it was always found it quite uncomfortable, but this, this pair of uh, denim jeans were, were quite comfortable, because someone else had worn them and stretched them out, so um, <laughs> I was more than happy to wear these, and then that's how I started to wear jeans, and this wasn't until I was about 20, so it was in my mid-20s, I should say, so I was not used to wearing denim at all. Can hear this, I can hear the villagers above me, so I mustn't be too far underground, so I might go a bit deeper. First I'll just grab this iron ore. But I'll just try and buy whatever's comfortable and whatever I like. Um, I wouldn't say I've got huge fashion sense, but uh, I think dressing to be comfortable, also just dressing to be happy, are the important things for me. But I try not to worry about it too much. I was having a conversation this week with a very dear friend of mine. And she was going through some things. She was having some issues because she, like me, is uh, in her mid-thirties. And she, something I hear from a, a lot of people my age now, in the thirties, saying that they haven't done all these things that they were expected to do at this point in their life and they feel very depressed and sad because they never got the chance to do all these things that they were hoping and they're saying that all their well, not all their friends but some of their friends have started families or got a house and a mortgage and working on their career and she hadn't managed to do any of this. Okay, I don't want to be attacked by this baby zombie right here. And I don't... Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Gave me a bit of a start right there. Deary me. I was hoping I wouldn't have to worry about him, but uh, unfortunately, I thought he would just leave me alone. But as soon as I removed that rail, he just came straight for me. Anyway, where was I? So... Yeah, she was, she's been a bit upset because things haven't been happening as she'd hoped and it seems that all her friends have been uh, progressing and growing older and um, doing all the things she wanted that she wanted to do, especially start a family. And the main thing... Oh, sorry, I just need to put a candle down there so I know that's the exit. The main thing that I wanted to remind her was that life isn't a race. There can be a lot of pressure to try and succeed and do things in life, but the more you try and get something, the more you're going to be upset because you don't have it. And you should never, ever, ever allow yourself to feel like you are not succeeding in life 
through the success of others because everyone's life is different. Everyone has a different way of doing things. Some people will do everything they want but miss out on doing other things that they want. But they'll appear successful. And I think that's the main thing with uh, social media like Instagram and all these other ones that I'm sure are out there that I know nothing about. They um, try and show these picture-perfect scenarios. This is my family. This is my house. This is my office. But in reality, it's nothing more than just a picture with a filter on it. These people are doing what they want to do. And if that's what makes them happy, then more power to them. And it's good that they're doing the things that they want to do, but I'm sure there's a lot of things that they have to sacrifice as well. And a lot of things that I... How I feel about social media is that I believe a lot of it just isn't real. A lot of it is just pretend. Getting the right lighting and the right angles and the right camera to make it all look very nice and perfect. But it's anything but, because perfection isn't real. And the sooner you let yourself go of this perfection, of this idea of perfection, the sooner you can just start to enjoy life. Because so much of what we see on Instagram and all these Facebook apps and all this stuff, as I said before, it's not real. And it's all outward things. It is all superficial things. And it's all things that we can get at some point of, in our life, if we really want it, if we think that will make us happy. But in reality, or in my understanding, I should say, the superficial things shouldn't be what matters. Because deep down, it's what's inside that counts. And I know that's a very cliche thing to say, but it is, it is true. Because if you find content within yourself, contentment within yourself, if that is a real word, I think it's a real word, if you are content with your life, then you can enjoy your life and just keep going on with it. And it's mainly reminding yourself that life isn't a race. Oh dear, that creeper decided to have a little explosion. Oh <laughs> well, there we go, just pick up the mess and we keep going. Oh, hello. <laughs> Gave me a bit of a shock there. Okay, maybe we'll let that creeper uh, enjoy the caves all by himself. Maybe the issue is that creepers get so excited when they see us that they just want to be friends, and that what causes them to explode. So that's, I think, is a nicer way of looking at it. They're not here to help, help hurt us. They're here. Be they want to say hello, but they get so excited that they go pop. But yes, as I was saying before, it's very easy to get hung up looking at everyone else's success or supposed success and forget that they've gone through their own journeys and you have to go through your own too. Oh, isn't it beautiful at night time out here? I absolutely love the glow from all the lamps. There we go, we got our iron golem patrolling the area, making sure it's all safe. Because we want this to be a safe little village, don't we? I shouldn't say it's a little. It's quite spread out, isn't it? But it's not packed with homes. Oh dear, <laughs> what's going on here? We have a guest in our bed. I'm sorry, little fellow, but this is my bed. I may have to build another home so that this little fellow could have a bed, but I've got a feeling that yeah, another villager might take that new home as well, so I don't know what we have to do to make sure we keep our, home, uh, our homes our own, but um, oh, I'll think of something later. I'm just looking at the glow of the, the, the light off the water. We're certainly getting plenty of water today in Sydney with all the rain that we've been having, but no sunshine. Okay, so what have we got? Might clear out the stuff right here. 
I just want to make sure I can move what I can to my storage area. In our little shed, so I'll put all the building blocks in here. And once I have myself a decent sized home, I'll be able to put some storage in there as well. As well as a place for my, uh, my horse to be able to sit and stay dry in case it rains. Now I can cook this iron now. In fact, let's fix up this path right here. I always have my shovel on, num uh, on slot number one, so I know where it is. Now I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to look organic. Because remember, perfection isn't real, it's just an illusion. Is there anything in this? Oh, there's some glass, I'll take that. And uh, I might move this coal down as well. Just bunch it all together. I can always split it if I need to cook more in a hurry. And I remember, oh, kitty, a beautiful white cat. What I'm here, what I'm going to be doing right now is grabbing this, uh, these hay bales. Because, well, it's blocking the way a bit, isn't it? And I think, yes, it's blocking this door as well. What a lovely little cat meowing like that. I love cats. I love all animals. Beautiful little things. Okay, there's nothing up here. So let's grab the last of these hay bales. I think I'll need these for when I build my stables. Because I'm sure my horses, or horse, will want to eat. And I want that grass to grow so I can use that. And uh, use the shovel on that to make it all a pathway. So there we go. Let's leave that there. So the grass can grow ac across. I've never really looked down here. Got some sheep in a pen. And uh, we got a farm over here with a farmer. Oh dear. Okay, skeleton had a bad time there. Oh, a blast furnace. I never really used blast furnaces all that much. I don't think that villager can trade. So we'll just leave him be inside there. Okay, we'll just move this stuff back out of the way. We'll put it in our um, storage container. I do love my shed. I'm very happy with the shed that I built. All right. Well, I think that villager's gone back in there. I think I can hear him playing on my bed. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Let's not worry. If the villager wants to play on my bed, they can play on my bed. Okay, the glass, that can go over in the shed. I'm just doing some organizing. I didn't think I was going to record today, but I thought, you know what, if I'm going to go caving, it gives me a good opportunity just to talk about things. And I think today what I, talk, what I spoke about was very important. But anyway, take care everyone. Live long, live well, look after yourselves and each other. Goodbye.